Hey guys, this episode is about a quick tutorial on responsive navbar. You can see our navbar is completely responsive. We have the we have our logo here and these icons here. And if our screen width is less than 800 pixel, our mobile menu appears. This is just awesome. It creates a great experience for the user. Our website looks like a mobile app, even though it is a website. This is awesome. On hover, this color will be this. And if we add content here, it will be more awesome. For now, we are building like this. So without a further ado, let's jump into it. Get your VS Code ready and inside this, we have HTML and CSS files. Inside our HTML file, press enter and then our title will be responsive navbar. And inside our body, we have a nav with the class name of navbar. In this we have a ul with some allies. The anchor tags. This is for home. Duplicate this. This is for our about us. And this is for services. And this is for projects. And this is for contact us. Now open this with live server. I have this and here we have a h1 with a class name of logo this will be navbar and link our css file And inside our CSS, our global styling margin will be zero, padding will be zero, and box sizing, border box. And inside this, now target our navbar. For this display will be flex and a little padding top and bottom 10 pixel and left and right 20 pixel you can see this padding here and now target our ul inside our navbar our ul flex one and text align right and for this navbar width will be 100 percent you can see this ul here we'll target our ally inside our navbar inside ul our ally it has a display block line block and all our anchor tags have text decoration none and our ally has a margin of 30 pixel left and right top and bottom Margin left, maybe top and bottom 0 and left and right 30 pixel. Now it's good. Now add a color to our body. For this, I will add background color. Mm 
be this color it's nice now target our logo for this font size will be 30 pixel in color white smoke and for our a anchor tags font size will be 20 pixel and color white smoke it's nice our navbar has align items center and increase this to 35 pixel so nice okay to make it responsive you can see for this open our html file and after this ul i will add another ul with a class name of mobile ul mobile list in this we have some allies with a i tag for this we are using font awesome so let's copy the cdn of font awesome font awesome cdn this link copy this and inside our head tag link this font awesome cdn and at here i will have a i with a class name of font awesome class name of fafa home you can see that here and we have another and this will be cogs for services and this will be font square and this will be user this will be bus You can see those here now open our CSS file inside this create a media query hold the screen and max width for 800 pixel devices target our navbar and ul for this display will be none so that won't appears here and after that target our mobile list and the main section main in desktop view for this display will be none and in small screens position display block and color should be white smoke we are you can see that we are hiding this so for this i will say a class name of desktop list so 
save this and it here you can see it is here and for this I will add a font size instead mobile list for our i tags font size will be 30 pixel and our mobile list has a position fixed and bottom 0 and left 0 you can see this here and I will add display flex and justify content space around and align items center and for this add a width of 100% you can see this occupying the entire space and add a padding of 20 pixel maybe 10 pixel and add a background color of this now for our navbar add here add a background color of this you can see this here now open our html file and for this context contact us button let's add a class name of ctn and it here target that ctn and add a padding of 8 pixel and 20 pixel and add background color of this or body color copy this now add a border radius of 50 pixel And now on our mobile list or ally on hover our i tags should have color of this maybe this color paste it here and hover this will be have this color and for this cursor will be pointer and make this 7 vmin so it will be more responsive the size of the icons will be more responsive if we add this min here and now you can see if the screen size is less than 800 pixel our mobile menu appears and this creates a great experience for the user it feels like a mobile app and that's all for now and I see you guys in the next video.